Uh, hey everyone, this is Eric with John Oscar Real Estate and Team Borja. Uh, today I have Yan Matheson from Loan Depot and she's going to explain a little bit more about forbearance. Um, so take it away, Yan. Hi. Okay, so I wanted to come here to just get into a little bit about, you know, what this new, um, new CARES Act um, will do for a lot of people. Um, we all know that this coronavirus has caused a lot of job loss and a lot of families are, you know, hurting. And so this new law basically will, uh, that mandates your current lender to give you a forbearance um, plan, which means you, you can pause your payments for now and you could do it um, for six months and then you can extend it for another six months. So basically it means that you you could uh take advantage of of this now if you're impacted and um and and skip your payment for six months but the but the thing to to keep in mind is it's not uh it's not forgiveness you still have to pay it back so at the end of the six months you either pay back the whole lump sum of the six months all added up or uh your servicer your lender can um, offer a, an option to re-amortize your loan with the six months of back pay or back payments. What that means is, it, for example, if you were, your loan still has 20 years of payments left, you would essentially just add the six months um, of payments that you have skipped and recalculate and you will have a new payment um if that makes sense yes it does so just just to kind of um kind of go back a, just a little bit so you're saying so if we miss six months if we qualify for six months not no uh for bands for six months say our payment was two thousand dollars a month that's twelve thousand dollars before the forbearance we had 20 years left of payments so then when the six months up i choose to repay it. So what the lender is going to do is basically take the $12,000, add it to your balance and re-amortize it for the remaining term, say correct. 20 years of what I had left before yeah. the advance, correct? And this, okay. yes, this, so this is something that you want to really um, get it in writing with your lender and, and sign it before you start to miss your payments because uh, it's very critical and that you understand what you're getting yourself into. Okay. Okay, great. So now, um, as far as that goes, um, so who qualifies for this type of uh, um, option? So pretty much if your loan is owned by um, a government agency like FHA uh, or HUD um, or VA um, or Fannie Mae or Freddie, um, any mortgage-backed security, um, you can qualify for this by just calling them and asking for this. And the lenders are mandated to not request proof of hardship. And so essentially it's very easy process. Hopefully it's an easy qualifying process. Um, so just call your, your lender. You, you should have a phone number on your mortgage statement to, um, to call them to request for this um yeah so pretty much anyone anyone uh qualifies as long as they have government backed security or you know um government loan so if you have a fha loan a va loan mm -hmm. or if your loan is owned by fannie mae or freddie mac mm -hmm. so anyone outside of that any bank outside of that they they may have um some options for them as well they right? I'm sure um, I've seen a couple of, uh, you know, portfolio lenders that um, have come up with their own, you know, options to, for mortgage relief. Mm -hmm. um, that's, I, I've seen some calling it a uh, payment deferment program. And that's another program that is essentially, it, you, you skip the payments and then you're, you're adding it to the back end of your loan. So your loan is actually a little bit longer. It's just push, pushed out a little bit. Depending on how many months you needed help. 
exactly. So six months, you add six months exactly. of your term. Okay, okay, gotcha. So now, you, you know, um, for people that that qualify, how does this, you know, as a lender, when when they're when they're looking to get into a different loan later on in the future, how do you look at a forbearance? Then okay. you know they they're not paying for six months, whatever the amount is. Yeah. How does that look when you're qualifying them? So in the future, we um, the, the, the likely outcome in the future, I think, is there'll be some kind of new guideline to, for us to consider or to view this, this event on your credit history. And I feel like there'll be adjustment for it made, like just like, for example, if your credit score is 620 or 680, or you had a short sale, or you had a, um, a loan modification, uh, regardless of of how you got there, it's an event in your in your credit history. Um, the law states that the lender is not to report this a mortgage late, but we really don't know, you know, what could happen because this is never, we've never been here before. And, and the idea and the intention is not to hurt your credits for, by taking this forbearance, but we just don't know what, what will happen in the future. But as a lender, I may have to look at this as, um, as a, a hindrance on your ability to to repay so there 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 may be some adjustments made for it in the okay. qualifying so really it's just you know uh, basically it's uh you know uh, obviously each individual is different you know you guys yeah. are going to look at it uh the way the the file is given you know so you have to look at everyone's situation differently yeah. so um it's always about the the ability to pay a mortgage is what you're looking for right the type right. of job they're in you know things like that so the just, consistency uh, of your yeah. your ability to pay is yeah. one of the reasons one of the yeah. things that we look at yeah so um at the end of the day i think we all have to look at you know look at ourselves and you know see if this works works for us in yeah. today's time you know we all are hurting some way somehow we you know and so um I think we, we have to make decision based on our, our, our current situation, you know, not so much of how it's going to affect us later because we don't know what later is going to uh, give us. We have to figure yeah. out what, how it's, how we're going to live now, 30 days, six days, 90 days, Yeah. You know, whatever impact it may later on have an understanding of it. Right, right. That, I was going to say, I was going to say, you know, this is a, a very critical tool that, mm -hmm. um, that you could use if you're truly in need or if you're truly um, impacted and your income is, uh, you, you just, you, you, you know, some people need this um, yeah. in order to survive this, this crazy time. Mm -hmm. um, but my, my thing is caution uh, make sure you understand what you get yourself into. Make sure you have an agreement in hand, um, and uh, and then really read through it. It's it's let's not you know repeat our same mistake from two thousand eight. Yeah. So anyone you know so uh, again you know we just we're just here to kind of give you guys some information about some of these things that we're learning each day each week. Things change every day every week. Um, yes, so I know. we, we want to make sure that we're trying to, we, we're trying to stay up on top of these things to give you, give you guys, um, what some of us are kind of like trying to figure out. So, um, yeah. anyways, I, hopefully that you guys have a little bit of, uh, more information, understanding what forbearance is. If you want to know more, please contact us. We'll have our information. Yeah. Just give on, us a call. Yeah. So, you, you know, we'll have our information on the post. And uh, until then, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. And until next time, God bless. Bye. Bye.